right, so we got a sockeye salmon. We get it from a sustainable source in British Columbia. See, it's nice and ruby red. So we're gonna do a quick little appetizer, something simple. A nice little one, two. This is a good quality salmon. Uh, it has a nice bold flavor. You can actually eat this raw if you like. So we're gonna have a little small sofrito, somewhat of a brunoise, a little carrots, onion, celery. Add a little bit of salt. Let the aromas get out. A little fresh brown black pepper. You can already smell the aromas and all the flavors coming out of the vegetables. You want these cooked, not too cooked, you want crispy and crunchy. Should be good right there. A nice spoon. We have our bowl. Move it around a little bit. To refine in the same pan. Add a little bit more oil. Come back to our sockeye. Just gonna season it. Nice on both sides. Fresh brown black pepper. Now you want to do this presentation side first. So what we're going to do is just, uh, this is going to be our presentation side right here, so we're just going to seal that side off. Now we just try to go away from yourself so you won't splash any oil on yourself. Try not to touch it, just let the pan do its job. Gonna really get the smell of sockeye fresh salmon coming out. Do a quick check, looks pretty good. Try to move them a little bit from each other. Check the bottom. A little bit longer, a nice little color. Be, that should be fine right there. I just want a nice even color on the bottom. I also want to have that nice ruby color to it. For a nice medium, nice medium rare. Feels about right. So what we're gonna do is move it off the fire. Put a little bit of chopped, fresh chopped parsley on top of a little sofrito. 
Look at this fresh uh, grated uh, sago cheese. A little bit more parsley. Top off with some more fresh asiago cheese right in the center. And there you go, quick appetizer. Small sofrito, sockeye salmon.